Howdy y'all, November the 14th. Got off work a little early today. So we came home to look at this X mark and see what our malfunction was. And it's pretty much what I thought had happened. The belt had jumped off on the back of the motor at the clutch and got hooked into the crank basically. So the belt is up here where it's not supposed to be instead of down here on the pulley. There was a stick in here. So we're gonna try to put this belt back on. Well, just like all of that belt gets hung up where it's not supposed to go, it won't come out. And you gotta take everything apart to get to it. It's just like the last one, we had to take, we had to take, what did we do? We took the double pulley uh, system, had to unbolt it from the deck, take it out to get the belt down out of it. This one's hung up in the motor, <sighs> or it's not supposed to go. So this belt's pretty much probably smoked. Um, I smoked it, but I guarantee it's smoked. I can't get it out. I'm gonna have to roll the mower over uh, upside down or jack it up above my head to even get to it to try to figure out how to get that out. That belt's this big and that hole's this big, but yet it got in there. So, can't win for losing. Anybody wanna just buy everything I got and just so I just don't have to do it no more. So aggravating. Well, we didn't get anywhere with the lawnmower, so we brought it back over here, parked it till we can get it figured out. We're sitting down here taking the tire off the truck. Maybe get that fixed. I don't know. See that little butt? Little buck over there. I came up on him here to about 20 feet. He stood up and now he's done moved over there a little further. He don't want to go out in the field, but he keeps looking back at me. He would prefer to stay in the bushes.
He just got a little rack on him. But it looks like the looks like the do good passed his ears for 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 just a little rack. I guess I'll shut him off. My arm's getting tired of holding the camera. I think he walks with a little limp. He may be favoring his left front leg. Yeah, he's limping. He's limping on his left front leg. I don't know if you can see all them turkeys out there or not. But it's a mess of them. A whole lot of them out there strutting in too. I can't tell, but it looks like about 15 of them anyway. Some of them are strutting. A couple of them are strutting. They're going to go behind that cedar tree in a minute. You won't see them. A whole mess of them. They're right up against the woods. There's some down between the other two trees. There's some down between there. Anyway, I'm learning... I'm learning how to make these, bring them in a little bit closer, but let me shut it off. Maybe they'll come on up by the, well, these are turkeys. turkeys on a different day. About 15, about 15 turkeys out there by that hay bale at the end of the woods. 
Anyway, they were right there a few days ago, too. Of course, it's raining right now. Just about 15 of them. I can't see. Anyway, I'm getting wet here. More turkeys than I've seen around here in a long time. At least they had a chance to get big. This is the uh, 15th of November, I think. Tuesday the 15th. shot four. Dad's over here putting in a hay bale. Emily Harvester helping him. Got my tire fixed the other day. Had a minute to spare during work. So we, uh, we run up there and got it fixed real quick. Come back. We'll put it on here. We weren't able to patch it. So we just had to pretty much plug it. Because of the location of the nail in it. 
dad's over here looking to push the little logs up. Hopefully I don't get stuck over here. If it had been raining, I could get stuck in here. Hey, y'all, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.